Welcome artists to Monet Cafe Studio. In this lesson, you'll learn a fascinating technique I think you will love, and we'll be creating a beautiful sunlit poppy field painting in soft pastel. In this lesson, I'll teach you how to create ghost images from previous pastel paintings. It's an easy technique and a great way to restore a surface for a painting that may be a little older or one that you're just not happy with. Welcome artists to Monet Cafe Studio. I am currently surrounded by lots of older paintings of mine that I'm going to be repurposing this month. And I'm going to share with you many different ways that you can repurpose and reuse pastel surfaces. For this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing on creating what's called ghost images. And these aren't scary. They're a lot of fun. And it's a great way for you to be able to take either older paintings or perhaps a failed painting. I don't even like the word failed painting because you learn something with every painting. But if you're a new artist and you're a little nervous, this takes that fear away to know that you can reuse these surfaces. So let me get started right now and share with you how to create ooh, ghost images. All right, here we go. My patrons of mine on my Patreon page will witness me brush off all of these paintings that are on different surfaces. But in this version here on the Monet Cafe YouTube channel, I'll be focusing only on the poppy painting. So let me show you how I dust this off and create a ghost image. Now I'm outside with my paintings and my stiff bristle brush, and I like to work in sections. You can see here that I'm uh, just kind of scrubbing off some of the pastel. And often when I'm moving from one color to another, I'll just scrub it off on a paper towel and then go back to work again. I'm getting most of this blue off in the sky. You can even see the pastel dust kind of coming off. Now I have a nice little breezeway where I'm working, so much of the pastel dust is blowing away, but I tap it a little bit um, at times to get it mostly to fall off. Again, I'm kind of working in sections. I don't want to bring much of that darker color or the red or the grass color up into the sky. So that's why I started on the sky first. And this is not going to erase the painting like I'll, you'll see in some future tutorials that'll be coming this month where I'm literally washing off some of the water friendly surfaces. When working on Sennelier Le Carte like this, it is not a water friendly surface. My goal is just to scrub off the majority of the pastel and create this ghost image where I will create a similar painting. Uh, I think you'll be amazed at the flexibility. I don't have to create a painting just like this and I really could could create a whole new painting but sometimes these ghost images are fun because you've really got a good foundation to start a new similar painting here is my finished ghost image and this is going to be the one that I recreate for this tutorial I'm scrubbing off a little bit more of that red and I really like how this process brings such a softness to the piece that's a great start for a new painting once again, if you're a patron of mine on my Patreon page, you will have the extended content of this video where you'll see me erase the rest of the three surfaces. You'll also have slower speeds and commentary for the painting tutorial. And if you would like to become a patron on my Patreon page, it's super easy. It's only $5 a month. You can cancel at any time. You get all of the full content for my tutorials and you get to become part of this beautiful family where I get to see your work and it's such a beautiful, happy place of artistic learning and fun. I'm going to change this up a bit and create a painting that has a bit more of a, a sunset feel to it. The reference image I found, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but it is so gorgeous. It's in a vertical format, but I'm just going to use my artistic license and change it to horizontal. But I just really, really love this image. So I, I'm going to put the sun right here in this area. So I want to, I'm going to go ahead and establish that as my sense uh, or source of light. And um, I think I'll first kind of reestablish some of these distant trees back here. And I did a recent tutorial where I talked about um, what happens with um, color with, tr with a tree line in the distance if it's near the sun. Typically, things cool off as they move further away from you in color temperature. But if it's near the sun, Things have a tendency to warm up a bit. Uh, that's maybe a little bit light. Um, so I'm going to get kind of a, a warm color. This is a pretty, that's probably too red. I've got this nice uh, kind of warm purple here. There's a brownish purple. Let me start with that one. 
Okay, yeah, that's good. So I'm going to have just a little bit of these trees far back here. And I'm going to place my sun right in here. And now I'm going to speed things up and you can watch this painting come to life. And that portion you just heard uh, of the real time is a kind of a little example of what you get if you become a patron of mine, where I really just talk you through the painting process, show you my pastels. Uh, but you can still learn a lot by watching the speed version. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Now, please stay tuned to the end of this video. It really does help YouTube to share my video. And also it helps if you go ahead and click that like button and uh, by all means subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this lesson and you would like more. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and learned something new about how to create a ghost image from former pastel paintings and breathe new life into future pastel artworks. Here I've zoomed into the final piece so you can get a closer look. And again, if you would like this video, please comment. I'd love to hear from you. Become a patron if you would like the full tutorial. And as always, God bless and happy painting.